What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Extra Turns. It's the spooky one. The scary one. It's the Halloween episode. And we have some of the scariest players to face off against in it. We got Rachel Weeks, Ashlyn Rose, Lady Danger, and the number one streamer of the world. Well, maybe in my heart, at least. Amazonian Amy. <laughs> yeah. Well, all players that I would be scared to play against. This yeah, is true. Yeah. yeah. And, and they all, all brought uh, a commander that is in some way like a monster or a spooky, scary character. Yeah. And of course, if you want to make your decks a little spookier or add in some cards that are going to frighten your opponents, why not head over to cardkingdom.com slash command to pick up that, I don't know, it could be a counterspell, it could be anything that's scary, right? It <laughs> doesn't even need to be a monster, it's just the threat of. Cardkingdom.com slash command has a massive inventory, they have all of the cards that you're going to need if you're going to upgrade your deck, get a new pre-con, or just buy an entire deck from scratch. That's right, because all the cards arrive at your house in one single package, so you can just rip that sucker open, sleeve all of them up, and get going immediately, especially if you're trying to get some decks in time for the next FNM or game night. We love Card Kingdom. They have an amazing customer service team as well. But most importantly, when you buy from Card Kingdom, you're not only getting the cards you need, but you're also supporting the show and content just like this that you're about to watch. So again, cardkingdom.com slash command is the place to go. And of course, once you get those cards, you want to protect them. We all have valuable cards in our collection. The game accessories brand that Jimmy and I trust our own cards to is Ultra Pro dot com slash commands their website's awesome because they often have a ton of discounts yeah yeah they're often trying to move inventory and just get in the new thing and they will sometimes you'll get an email that just says binders are 40 percent off yeah. or something crazy <laughs> or it's here. a spooky halloween sale there or you a go christmas sale where there's always a theme sale going on nothing scarier by the way than damaged cards oh so. that does scare me yeah. <laughs> so again ultra pro dot com slash command they have everything you need from sleeves to deck boxes play mats dice wall scrolls if you want to make your battlefield or your game room look amazing ultra dot com slash command and the last way to support the show is directly at patreon.com slash command zone we love our patrons in fact they've already seen the spooky episode a day early without us babbling over the front of it because they get ad free versions of this as well as game nights and not only that they have access to our discord patrons at higher tiers also have access to exclusive content for instance after this episode mm. all of the players on the table sit around and talk for a show we call turn talk and they discuss the game and that is a patreon exclusive so if you want access to content like that or you just want to support the show directly patreon Patreon.com slash command zone is the place to go. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that supports us that way. All right, with all of that rambling and blabbing, as you said, out of the <laughs> way, let's see who is the spookiest and scariest. Let's do it. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Extra Turns. We've prepared for you a monster mash with an all-star cast. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Amy the Amazonian. I stream mostly on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Amazonian, but I also put out a ton of historic brawl content over on YouTube under the same name. And it's prime time for crime time because I'm playing Xanathar Guild Kingpin. I've enlisted a devious band of rogues with a single mission. Steal my opponent's stuff. I'll have ways to nab it from their battlefields, from their graveyards, and even from their decks, thanks to my commander. With the table's hopes and dreams crushed, the last thing I'll steal will be victory. And the monster I'm playing today is Umbra's Fear Manifest. Whenever I play a nightmare or horror, my commander scares the cards right out of my opponent's decks and straight into exile. Plus, I've got some powerful mill spells to keep my opponents panicked. The only question is, which will hit zero first, their libraries or their life totals? My monster of the week is a big ol' zombie, Lord of Tressorhorn. This deck wants to use equipment and combat tricks to one-shot people with my commander. But first, I need some tokens and sacrifice fodder to pay for his brutal ETB trigger. Once the Lord hits the board, I can suit him up and give my opponents the axe. And today, my commander is Shelob, Child of Ungoliant. This is a spooky spider-themed deck full of eight-legged freaks. And Shelob gives them all death touch. So there's no fight my spiders can't win. Then, once I've killed my opponent's best creatures, they'll be trapped in my web as delicious food copies. It's terror time. Nice deck. I think I'll steal it. Spider, I hardly know her. Speak softly, but carry a big axe. Are y'all ready to play some magic? Yes. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Skip. 
I will draw. And I'm going to start things off with a spicy bajooka bog. It enters the battlefield tapped. I target myself. Uh -huh. And I am my turn. Safe choice. Mm -hmm. All right, I will draw my card for turn. And then I will play a swamp and I will pass to you, Rachel. All right, I too will draw for turn and play Crumbling Necropolis and pass. All right, I'm gonna draw for turn. I will play a Dark Slick Shores. I will tap it, and then I will play a Soul Ring. Uh -oh. Go ahead, I know, I'm gonna die first. <laughs> An enemy has been made. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Amy. I'll untap that Bajooka Bug and draw. And we've got another spicy little land here. Hive of the Eye Tyrant comes in untapped, but I'm not playing anything, so it's your go. All right, I will draw my card for turn. I'm gonna play Necroblossom Snarl, and I will reveal a Swamp. Good Swamp. Thank you. Not missing a land drop over here, and that's it. I'll pass the turn to you, Rachel. All right, we'll untap and draw for turn. I'm gonna play this island, and then I'm gonna cast a Baleful Strix. Ooh. Ooh. When Baleful Strix enters, I will draw another card. Pass. All right, I will untap. I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm going to play a Swamp, and then I'm going to tap four and play a Scrapwork Rager. Oh, it's like Phyrexian Rager, but metal. But yes. metal. But <laughs> metal. Totally metal. <laughs> totally metal. Got the fist going and everything. All right, I will <laughs> draw and lose a life. Going to 39, and that's it, go ahead. That's an untap, so I will draw. I'm going to play an underground river, and I'm going to tap it for colorless, tap for black, tap for black, to play Nashi Moon Sage Ooh. Scion. Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't love that. I like, All right. I like a Nashi. <laughs> I love that for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play my Woodland Cemetery. I control a swamp, so it comes in untapped. And then I will play Juvenile Gloom Widow. The little spider. That's a spider, just a little guy. A little guy. That's <laughs> you, Rachel. I will untap and draw for turn. I'm going to play a Luxury Suite as my land for turn. And I'm just gonna pass right there. All right, I'm going to untap my stuff and then I'll draw for turn. Let's go ahead and play a swamp and then and I'm going to tap everything and play my commander, Umbris Fear Manifest. It begins. Go read. Umbris will trigger and I'm going to target Amy. All right, so I exile until I hit a land, yes, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so I've hit an Elder Brain and a Swamp. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Easy. You did exile my brain though, so gonna have a little trouble we'll from be this point out. Good. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate it. Everyone's got creatures, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Untap and draw. I'm going to play a command tower for turn, and it looks like everybody has a block for it. You've got Scrapwork Rager, which kind of wants to die, but you also want things in exile. I'm considering <laughs> asking, would you let me hit you with my Nashi? What, what, how does that work out for me? Three cards are going to go into exile and stay in exile. Mm. Personally, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm good, I think I'm set up. Hey, lady. <laughs> I'm going to swing at you for three with the rat. Okay, I'll take three, go into 37. So, because Nashi Moon Sage Scion has dealt combat damage to a player, each player is going to exile the top card of their library, and I can choose to play or cast one of those cards. But if I do, I'm going to be paying a life instead of mana. Here we go. All right. Oh. Okay. I exiled Baleful Mastery. All right, carry and Locust. I exiled Reanimate. I exiled Rat Widow Pack. Ashlyn, you know, uh, you did start with that turn one soul ring, so I think I'm going to use my Baleful Mastery and pay four life to exile your commander, Umbris. All right, I mean, I'll take it. Umbris will go to the command zone. All right, oh, and these go to exile. The gals are fighting! <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to help you out because I am actually going to exile more cards by casting Intellect Devourer. Ooh. When Intellect Devourer enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from their hands. I've got Last March of the Ents. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you can snack on this island. Uh, I'll give you a Baron more. I appreciate the lands. I don't have any more in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I end my turn. All right, well, I will untap my lands and draw this card here. Excellent. I will play Forced. And then I'll play Sky Fisher Spider. Going fishing. When it enters the battlefield, I may sacrifice another creature, which I will do. I will sacrifice my Juvenile Gloom Widow, and it'll go to my graveyard. 
Barely had a chance to gloom. And when I do, I can destroy a target non-land permanent, Amy. My rat or my brain? Your brain, for <sighs> sure. Not again. <laughs> this is a no-brain day. It's a no-brainer. Well, Intellect Devour is destroyed. Then everybody gets their cards back into hand. Yay! Thank this is for you. you. And I'll pass the turn, Rachel. On your end step, I am going to cast Limb Duel's Vault. Oh. I am going to look at the top five cards in my library. All right, uh, that five is not gonna work, so I'm going to pay one life. Going to 39, and I'll look at the next five. It's only one life? Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's so good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this five, so I'm just gonna shuffle the rest, and I'll put this five on top in any order. Pretty good. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I'm going to play a Shipwreck Marsh as my land for turn, and I'm going to use that to cast a Relic of Sauron. Ooh. Ooh. Then I'm going to cast Watcher for tomorrow. Luckily, I know what's on top and know just what to get. So this will go underneath the Watcher and I'll get it later, and the rest will go on the bottom of my library. I'll pass to you, Ashlyn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and untap all of my stuff and I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a Path of Ancestry. I'm going to go ahead and move to combat. Since you got rid of my commander, Amy, I'm going to attack you with my scrapbook creature. And I will take two damage and go down to 34 life. All right, and I'm going to play Dread Presence. That is a good one. Yep. All right, that's my turn. Go ahead, Amy. Untapping that rat, and I'll draw a turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go to combat, and Ashlyn, you know that two damage, that, that hurt my heart. So I'm going to swing at you with Nashi. <gasps> I, I accept. Blood for blood. Let's let's deal with this right now. So I will take three. Going to 36. And because Nashi has dealt combat damage to you, we'll now each exile the top card of our library. Damn. Nation. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. Uh, arcane denial for me. I've got a predatory rampage. I have a swamp. These yeah. are all terrible. <laughs> yeah. all strange choices. I'm just going to take that swamp and I will play it and the rest will go into exile. So far I've done more crime to myself than to any other player. Oh. So we're going to have to accelerate our army of ninjas. So I'm going to pay five mana for Fallen Shinobi. Ooh. And now it's my turn. I love that all your ninjas are just walking to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, oh, we're just coming. We'll be there in a sec. <laughs> I will untap, I will draw my card for turn, and I will play the swamp. All right, I'm gonna play Ulvenwald Tracker. You can use that to fight your own creatures. I could, hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that because I'm just going to pass the turn. With four mana open, huh? All right. I will untap. And then I will draw for turn. That makes me happy. <laughs> I will play an island as my land for turn. And then I'm going to cast Obeka Brute Chronologist. Oh my. You can stop your turn. I could offer a stop to other people's <laughs> turns if they'd like. But mostly it's for countering the Lord of Treasure Horn ETP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. <laughs> Exiles the stack, right? Yeah. It's just like, oh, it turns over. <laughs> Nothing else happens. Yeah. <laughs> With that, I will pass to you, Ashlyn. All right, I'm going to untap my stuff and draw for turn. I'm afraid of your dread presence dealing two damage to my rat. Yeah, it can take out a lot of things or right that now. Or that bird. Or my watcher for tomorrow. What would that? that no, would... that would be awful. <laughs> we would never know what would happen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play a swamp. What? Which will trigger my dread presence. I'm okay with exiling things, so I think I'm actually am going to go for the Uvenwald tracker because I don't want it to fight things. You know what? Let's get funky. Uh -oh. I have a response. I'm going to cast Prize Fight. There's too much happening over there, so <laughs> Uvenwald tracker will fight your Watcher, Rachel. Ooh. Oh, a gift. A gift. Okay. Our Watcher and Uvenwald will trade. And I get this card into my hand. Because there's no target anymore, my effect's gonna fizzle, and I don't get to gain any life. <sighs> you get nothing from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need to beef up my team if I want a chance to go against all y'all. So I'm going to play Chainer Dementia Master. Mm. All my nightmares get plus one, plus one. All right, and then I think I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna chill. Go ahead, Amy. Wish I had that damnation now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll untap, draw for turn. I'll start by going straight to combat, and lady, looks like you have got the fewest blockers, so I'm going to be swinging both my creatures at you, Fallen Shinobi and Nashi. Give me your spiders. I'm just like jealous, because I don't have a Shelob, and mm -hmm. I wish I had a Shelob, so I'm going to build my own spider deck. I will not be blocking. I'll take eight going to 29. 
Great, and because Nashi dealt combat damage to a player, we'll each exile the top card of our deck. Oh. I grabbed two cards. What is that? My funeral. Okay, I got a Nightscape Familiar. I just got Cultivate. Cultivate and blue black ain't nothing. And I revealed a Metamorphose. Well, as the guild kingpin, I think that it's only appropriate for me to pay two life for this Metamorphose. So I can put your Skyfisher spider on top of your library. Yeah, that happens. Spider thief. And metamorphose, so you get to put something cool into play, right, lady? Not today. Not even a land? Nope. Brutal. This goes to graveyard and all the rest go to exile. But that Skyfisher spider is now on top of your library before the Fallen Shinobi trigger. Pretty cool. <laughs> so cool. Love that now, please exile the top two cards of your library. What could they be? Mm. Oh, goody, 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 a, a fight fight. spell, too. Oh, no. Well, I'll be taking those. All right, now we'll go to our second main phase. So I'll be choosing to cast the Skyfisher Spider, which I do not have to pay the mana cost for. So now I have a Skyfisher Spider. Nice. But I don't really want to sacrifice either of my creatures. But I think the Skyfisher Spider should probably die. I will play Bushwhack and I'll target my Skyfisher Spider and Ashland's Chainer. <gasps> the Chainer. Skyfisher Spider and Chainer kiss and die. They kiss and die <laughs> because of the last light of text. Uh -huh. Red presence goes with them because it is a nightmare. Oh my gosh, right, there's yeah. another trigger there. Well, two for one there. Woo, <laughs> goody, goody, goody. <laughs> and these go to your graveyard, ma'am. Yay, thank you. It's cool when you do it. I can't wait to do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay six mana for a Rakshasa Debaser. Ooh. Ooh, get to steal some creatures from people's graveyards, and I'll end my turn. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I will go ahead and play my commander, Shelob, Child of Ungoliant. And so I will pass turn, Rachel. All right, here we go. I will untap and draw for turn. First, I'm gonna play my land for turn, which is an island. Then I will use that to cast a Shadow Spear. Ooh. Okay, now it is time for the Lord of Tresserhorn. Beep, beep. Yeah. He's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> when Lord of the Tresserhorn enters the battlefield, I have to pay two life, sacrifice two creatures, and have an opponent draw two cards. And I don't want to resolve it, so Obek is going to help out here by ending my turn. That's which very clever. Clears the stack, ends my turn, and passes it to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And before I knew it, it was my turn, and I'm untapping my cards and drawing. I'll play a swamp, and then I'm gonna bring my commander back out. Yep. So your commander has like four downsides, right? Because <laughs> that's what it costs to get a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of Path of Ancestry, I will scry. Um, do I wanna keep it on top? Because it's like, I have to keep in mind that Amy over here is going Can to I probably. Yeah. 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 Um, what, me do crime? Yeah. No. I think I'm gonna bottom this. Whatever that card is, I want it. <laughs> no. No card for you. Go find it. I'll find it. I dare you. <laughs> and then Umbra will trigger because it itself is a nightmare. Yeah, Umbris will target you, Amy. All right, I'll exile from the top. It's an well, island. <laughs> okay, island Why? goes into exile. Come on. You may have no lands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so how many cards do we all have in exile right now? It's three. <laughs> yeah. Three. Three. Ooh. Oh, you have some energy. Yeah. <laughs> so that means Umbris is a uh, ten ten. Okay. That's big enough to trick the Lord. I had to pay so much for this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so 10 tens here. And I uh, can't attack you. Can't attack you. And guess what? Can't attack you, so I'm going to pass. This season, Death Touch is in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I'll untap, draw for turn. Everybody here has a Death Toucher except for me, and I feel really, really left out. So I think I'm going to cast Sakashima's Will. Was that you? Well, I'm choosing the second mode. Uh, target opponent is going to choose a creature they control, and I gain control of it. Hey, Lady Danger, my opponent, I see you have exactly one creature. Oh, I do. And I know you only have one creature, but it didn't work. I didn't want a scrap for creature. I didn't want the Baleful Strix. Yeah. Not the Shelob. YouTube commenters, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move to combat and I'm going to get tricky with it. Uh, I'm going to attack you, Lady Danger, with the Rakshasa Debaser, but I'm going to attack with Nashi and the Fallen Shinobi at Ashlyn. When I declare Rakshasa Debaser as an attacker, I put a creature card from your graveyard into play under my control. May I see your graveyard, please? You sure can. 
There's definitely a spider in there. <laughs> so I actually already knew what spider I wanted. Oh, did I'm, you? I'm actually a spider deck. Did you know you that? Because you had it before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Skyfisher Spider. Mm -hmm. When Skyfisher Spider enters the battlefield, I can sacrifice another creature. And we're going to say goodbye to the rat. I'm going to sacrifice Nashi in order to destroy a non-land permanent. And I'm going to choose Umbris. What did Umbris ever do to you? Be a big enough block. Uh, <laughs> well then, in response, I'm gonna tap one and cast Dark Ritual. That'll give me three mana, and I'll use that to cast Blot Out. Targeting you, mm. so it can either be Roxasha. <laughs> I think Lady does deserve to have her commander, so I will oh, exile Sheila. <laughs> there you go. So kind. Yeah. Thank you. Umbris dies and Nashi dies. And now you have a 5-4 going right at you and the Rakshasa Debaser is still going at you for six. I will take six going to 23. Uh, and I will block with my scrapwork creature. That's very fair. And it can come back from the graveyard. It can. I'll play a land for turn. It is an island and I will end my turn. All right, I will untap and draw my card for turn. I will play Curse of the Clinging Webs. I'm gonna enchant player, Amy, it will be you. Aw, I'm cursed, thank you. You're <laughs> so welcome. Trapped in the web. And I will pass to you, Rachel. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. First, I am going to equip the Shadow Spear to Lord of Tressorhorn. Now he is an 11-5 with Trample and Lifelink. <laughs> Lifelink! Big boy, Woo. big boy. Then I am going to play a real goofball land, which is Cathedral of War. Nice. It has exalted. <laughs> <laughs> How's a land get exalted? I don't know. Then I am going to move straight to combat. My opponents have suffered much from your crimes, Amy. I am going to send a big zombie your way. Because Lord of Tresorn is the only attacking creature he gets plus one, plus one from the Cathedral of War. So he is a 12-6. Oh, that's a lot of commander damage. I'll block with the Skyfisher Spider, preventing a grand total of three damage. <laughs> the Skyfisher Spider dies, but it's actually going to be exiled for you. Oh, and because it dies, I get to gain life for each creature in my graveyard. I have Nashi and Intellect Devour, so that is two life. And it would get exiled, but it's already exiled. When that dies, it will trigger Curse of the Clinging Webs, and I will create a 1-2 spider token with reach. So, take nine damage, going to 23. And then, gain two life, going to 25. I will gain 12, going to 51. With that, I am just going to pass my turn. Okay, well, I'm going to untap to a very sad empty board and draw. So I'm going to unearth my scrap work rager. ETB, I will draw a card and lose a life, going to 35. All right, so I'm going to move to combat. You know what, I'm gonna do everyone a favor, except for Rachel, and I'm going to attack you with the scrap work rager. Interesting. For two. No blocks. Uh, I will take two and go to 49. I was trying to get rid of the Baleful Shrugs for everyone, but that's fair. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth more than yeah. that. You do have so much life, so it probably wasn't the best, yeah. but he's okay. All right, and then I'm gonna play an Is Land. Sure is. And then I'm going to play Consuming Aberration. <gasps> I love that card so much that I know that I have a healthy fear for it. I'm going to cast Soul Manipulation, and I'm going to choose both modes, Counter Target Creature and Return a Creature from my graveyard to my hand. Oof. So good. Oh Very God. good. Oh, man. And of the creatures in my graveyard, I'm going to choose Intellect Devourer. And that will go to my hand, and your spell will be Countered, Ashlyn. All right, well, uh... This game is turning into my worst nightmare. It will go into the graveyard. <laughs> well, even though you countered that, I still get my Path of Ancestry trigger. So I will scry. And I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Good news, Amy got her brain back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On the night of the alleged incident, you claim you were in your apartment all night, correct? Uh, yes playing Marvel Strike Force. I finally beat an Apocalypse for the first time. Objection! On what grounds? There's no way he beat Apocalypse. His basic attacks can tear through top tier heroes and his resistance is through the roof. And we're supposed to believe that this man took him down? Order the court. Counselors, approach the bench. Do you believe the witness's claim? Your Honor, with the right strategy, it can be done. My client could have used Captain America paired with Captain Carter. Cap taunts and soaks up the damage, while Carter heals him and revives any fallen teammates. Your Honor, this is pure speculation. Overruled. We need to consider synergy. He also could have used Magneto and the Death Seed team. If you add in Archangel, all the team's crits turn into healing. That gives you enough time to whittle down Apocalypse and his allies. That's not how I did it. 
I paired the Eternals with Red Hulk, Rogue, and Kang the Conqueror. With Kang's speed, Red Hulk's AOE damage, and Rogue's sheer brute force, I was able to knock out Apocalypse before he even had a chance to make an opening statement. That sounds viable. I call for a five minute recess. Marvel Strike Force. Click the link in the description and download it now for free. We find the defendant guilty <gasps> of being great at Marvel Strike Force. <laughs> and also parking in a red zone. Hello, sweetie. I am Bernard, ginger sculptor. And every fall, Eldrain goes cuckoo for my cookies. But all the baking I do for work leaves me little time to cook for myself. Aww. I'm busy mixing, frosting, digging up graveyards for ingredients. Wait, what? Thankfully, I have HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh lets me fit cooking into my busy schedule with delicious quick and easy options. Like my favorite, the one pan cheesy beef taco. Was I a person once? And with everything pre-portioned and delivered right to my door, it really is a no-brainer. Just like my confections. No brains in there, I swear. But I have thoughts and dreams. I love the variety of recipes. And even when I'm trying something new, the step-by-step -step recipe cards make it so easy, a cookie could do it. Now, if you'll excuse me, a big order just came in. Where'd I put my shovel? What am I? Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50COMMAND and use code 50COMMAND for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, that's code 50COMMAND at HelloFresh.com slash 50COMMAND for 50% off and free shipping. Greetings, I am Tivit, Seller of Secrets, and this is my new and improved Seller of Secrets. How did I expand my business so vastly, you ask? Information comes at a price, but I'll give you this clue for free. I use Shopify, the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From their in-person POS system to their e-commerce platform featuring the internet's best converting checkout, Shopify takes the riddles out of retail. And for sellers new and old, Shopify can help you grow with miraculous tools like Shopify Magic. My most treasured secret is their built-in marketing system, which helped me spread word of my mysterious wares. It put my business on the map, which naturally meant I had to change locations. But whether you operate from a seller or a skyscraper, Shopify can support your success, just like they do with millions of entrepreneurs across 175 countries worldwide. The evidence is clear. Businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tcz, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash tcz now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash tcz. All right, my new deck list is complete. Now, let's see which cards I don't already own and buy them. Wait, how'd you do that without going through a million boxes? Oh, I just use Architect. They make it super easy to upload and manage your collection. Then when you're done brewing a deck, you can sort it by collection status to see what you already have. So this group is just cards you don't own. Yep, I just click buy this stack and it takes me right to Card Kingdom. Whoa. Architect is the best place to browse, brew, and playtest commander decks. Just go to architect.com slash command zone to get started. That's A-R-C-H-I-D-E-K-T dot com slash command zone. All right, go to my instep and then the rager is going to go into exile. That's it. Go ahead, Amy. Here we go. I'll Let's see what you got. I'll draw for turn. You all saw me put it into my hand, so I'm going to recast Intellect Devourer. Hey. Mm. What will it devour today? Well, that's up to you. Please, everybody <laughs> choose a card to exile from your hand. I'm going to give you a Parallel Lives. Uh, I've got a swamp for you. Aaron Moore. All right, those are all exiled under the Intellect Devourer. This Fallen Shinobi has served me very well. It's been a really good Shinobi. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's time for it to meet its end upon a Baleful Strix. <laughs> I'm going to declare attackers attacking Rachel with the Fallen Shinobi and Rakshasa Debaser over at Ashland. Well, before you go digging through Ashland's graveyard, I am going to cast Rakdos Charm, targeting Ashland. Oh. And I'm going to exile your graveyard. Oh, my favorite words. I will happily exile him. Goodbye. There are now no creatures for me to take out of your graveyard. Well, how sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that for you. I am down to one card, which I don't love, but I am going to block the Fallen Shinobi with this Baleful Strix. All right. The Fallen Shinobi and the Baleful Strix both die. And the Rakshasa Debaster is hitting you for six. Yep, still alerts. When that dies, I get to create a spider with reach because of Curse of the Cleaning Webs. And it will be exiled. All right, and I'll go to 29. I've got all these really cool lands that I took, so I think I'm going to use one. 
I'm going to play this Swamp for a turn. And in my second main phase, I'll also be casting Night Veil Spectre. Ooh, another way for me to steal cards off the top of your deck, but also it has flying. Nice. And I end my turn. All right, I will untap, draw my card for turn. Playing what I would like to see here. I will pass a turn, there is nothing I'm going to do. Okay, I will untap and draw for turn. Okay, I'm going to pay three and I'm going to activate the Relic of Sauron. So I'm going to draw two cards and then discard a card. Uh, and the card I'm going to discard is Filth. Do I control Swamp? An interesting uh, query. I don't think you do. This is an island. Uh oh. Whoops. That's okay. I'm going to play a Haunted Ridge as my land for turn. I'm going to cast Phyrexian Purge, and I'm going to pay an additional six life to cast it, going down to 43. So I can destroy both the Intellect of Hour and the Night Veil vale Spectre. Ah, my blockers! Both of those are destroyed, so I get two more spiders. All of those go back to hand. Thank hey, you. For you. I would have liked the swamp back, but oh. I still get to smash. Amy, you've been a wonderful guest. I'm going to attack you with a big lag. So how much commander damage is that? 12 more. With 21 commander damage, I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Tressorhorn still has lifelink, so I will go to 55. Oh, this could be a problem. It's an uphill battle. <laughs> I mean, you guys both have enormous commanders, so. Uh, you're going to talk. I have a feeling that I'm going to get a taste of my own medicine here. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass to you, Ashlyn. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to play a Clearwater Pathway. I'm going to play a card that this whole deck is kind of based off of, aside from a commander. It was inspired by Nightmare. Ah, pony! <laughs> Yay, death pony! Death pony! It flies. It's a flying death pony. <laughs> it's what dreams are made of. Okay. Uh, and Path of Ancestry will trigger, because it shares the same type. I am going to bottom. Getting that value. And then I will play Nautiloid Ship. Ooh. Tentacle ship flavor. When it enters the battlefield, exile target player's graveyard. Yes. Cool. And I'm going to choose you, Rachel. That is fair. My graveyard will be exiled. Okay, well, you get three cool creatures. Ooh, thank you. Go under the ship. Nom, 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 nom. All right, and then that's all I can do, so I will pass turn. I have nothing to untap, so I will draw my card for turn. Wow! It's this land! Hey! Congratulations. A controlled amount of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Toad. Wow! I will play my Parallel Lies. Nice. And I pass the turn, Rachel. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I will go to combat, and Ashlyn, you're scary now. I will attack you with a giant boy. Yeah, uh, you will. Exalted trigger, so he is a 12-6. 12-6, okay. I think I'm just gonna block with my nightmare. Okay, how big is your nightmare? It is a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, the nightmare will die. Mm -hmm. Eight damage will trample over. And I'll go to 21. I will gain 12, going to 67. Okay, then I am going to activate the Relic of Sauron, and I will draw two cards and discard a card. Okay, I'm going to discard a mountain. I'm gonna pay two and cast Swiftfoot Boots. Ooh, booties, no. That's not oh. great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll pay one and put them on the big lad. Uh, I will pass. All right, you untap all this lovely land and uh, draw a card. Let's see what I got here. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna recast my commander. Makes sense to me. And then House of Ancestry will trigger, so I will scry one. Does it help you? It does. Does it hurt me? It does. Ah! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep that on topity top top. Uh oh. And then Umbris will trigger, so I'm going to target you, Rachel. You will okay. exile cards until you hit a land. Let's do it. Uh, that's not a land. <laughs> that's a land. Hall of the Bandit Lord. All right. Um, you know what? I'm pretty happy with my board state, so I'm going to pass turn. Go ahead, lady. All right. Untap. Draw. I will play this land tapped, and I will pass turn. Okay. So I got one turn to figure out how to deal with Ashlyn. All right. I will untap, and I will draw for turn. Uh, how big is Umbris? 1717. Okay. okay. I'm going to play Demolition Field as my land for turn. Yeah. Watch your guys' cradles, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I totally have one of those. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna go to combat and I see your big lad, Ashlyn. <laughs> Hello! Uh, and I will attack Lady instead. <laughs> oh, never saw that coming. Uh, I exalted tr will trigger, which means Lord Treasurehorn is once again a 12-6. 
trample, trample life, life link. link. I will declare my spider as a blocker, and then I will pay one and Shelob's ambush, so it gains death touch until the end of turn. I need a food token. Two food token. I need two food token. I will pay a black and regenerate Lord of Tresor Horn. You'll take eight. Ooh, a spider in hand, sir. That, that Ooh, lucky number eight. Eight, <laughs> eight, eight like spider eyes. <laughs> I will take eight going to 15. Oh, eight. So close. I will once again gain 12 and go to 79. Okay, that's the best I got. I will pass to you, Ashlyn. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to cycle my Baron Moore. That Baron Moore. Coming back. It came new. back. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, untap everything and draw for turn. So first things first, I will cast Poxic Deluge, and just to be safe, I'm going to pay six life. Going to 15. So everything will get minus six, minus six until end of turn. Well, I cannot buff Tressor Horn's power, but I can do this. I'm gonna pay six and cast Sublime Epiphany. Choosing counter target spell, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and target player draws a card. So I am going to attempt to counter the Toxic Deluge and bounce your commander, Ashlyn, and draw a card. All right, um, that will happen. Umbris will go to my hand and Toxic Deluge is countered. And I will draw a card. All right, well, I am going to play my commander. Yep, still big. With summon examples. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Temporary solution. Path of Ancestry, I will scry one. Anything good? Maybe, I would rather see something else, so. We're going to bottom it. And then Umbris will trigger, and Rachel, I'm going to target you again. Let's find some lands. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's great at hunting lands, apparently. He, he, yeah. He's <laughs> back to the top, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, I think the smart thing here is to just hold back. Yeah, I will pass turn. All right, on your end step, I will crack both of these foods. I will gain six life. Tasty. Nice. Nice. Snake. All right, I will untap. Draw for turn. Well, it's time. I'm going to cast Kindred Dominance. Ooh. Mm. Destroy all creatures that are not spiders. Wait, I don't have any spiders. <laughs> Wait a second. Lady, I'll give you an offer. Y you can rethink this spell and end your turn. No. <laughs> How about no? That's fair. Uh, you gotta try. Uh, well, I will respond by regenerating Lord of Tressor Horn. All right, that's you, Ashlyn. All right, so my commander dies. And Obeka dies as well. I feel like by workaround logic, enough people are afraid of spiders that I feel like the nightmare could count as a spider. You know, <laughs> I believe it, but no. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no. Not today. You all set? Yep, that's you. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Guess we cast that. Cast a ponder. And look at the top three cards in my library. See if these do anything. Oh boy, do they not. We're gonna shuffle. Any orbs? No? Uh, two talismans and a land. No. Oh! Not a swamp? <laughs> no. I will draw this card. Swamp! It's not, <laughs> it's not a swamp. <laughs> I love that. that Everybody great. did that. <laughs> Bonder will go to the graveyard. I am going to activate the Relic of Sauron. I'm going to pay three and draw two cards and discard one. Discard Felwar Stone. Well, I will do what I can. Before you go to attacks, I'm yes. going to try to make this a little juicier for you. Oh. But it might not be. I'm gonna tap two and I'm gonna play Grave Consequences. So you can either exile all your cards or lose life for every card in your graveyard. I will pay two life to keep Sublime Epiphany and Obeka in my graveyard and the rest will go. I will put everything in exile. I All too right. will put everything in exile. And I'll uh, draw a card. All right, okay. can continue. Proceed to bonk. I will try. Ashlyn, I will attack you once again for 12. I have no blockers. I will take 12. Unfortunately, that is one shy of commander <laughs> damage. <laughs> But you still take 12. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to three life and 20 commander damage. And I will gain 12 once again, going to 89. Classic off by one. Off by one, devastating. Then I am going to play a sinister concierge. And in the interest of, I don't know, I guess, just having a flying blocker. I'm gonna pay two and cast this Ornithopter of Paradise. And then I will pass. All right, I'm going to untap again and then draw. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there it is. You can get the boy back. Yes. All right, well, for the umpth 
15th time, I'm going to recast my commander. The Umbra's time. Uh, for the Umbra's <laughs> time! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have a couple triggers here. Path of Ancestry. I'm gonna bottom that. Tempting, but not helpful. And then I'm going to target someone to exile cards from the top of their library. Rachel! Yeah. The biggest threat. Let's or, keep let's keep, keep going. Uh, an unearth, uh, lizard blades, a Kazul's fury. It's almost a, a land. Sedgemore witch, a ghostly pilfer, and there's a blood crypt. All right. Pretty good. Not bad. All right, I will uh, pass turn. All right, I want to. Here we go. Big, Big spider coming. Swamp. Nope. But I can maybe do something. I'm gonna play Realmwalker, and I'm gonna say spider. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the top card of my library. Not a spider. Aww. Land? <laughs> a land. Oh. All right, that's gonna be it for me, and I will pass the turn. Look at me go. All right, I will untap, draw for turn. Well, the man loves hats, what can I say? No I, more hats. I'm gonna cast a mask of Grizzle Brand. The oh. lifeline! <laughs> Whenever oh, a quick creature dies, uh, I can pay X life or X as its power if I do draw that many cards. And now I will equip the mask to the Lord. So now he fly. It is a gruesome sight. <laughs> Very scary. He's dripping guts, it's a whole thing. I will go to combat and once again, I will attack you for that final one point of damage. Ah! <laughs> Ah. This time, he flies. He flies, and unfortunately nightmares cannot reach the sky. Oh. <laughs> Only dreams can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord of Treasure has double life length this time, so I will once again gain 12. Going to 101. Dalmatians? Yeah, but they're dead. It's gross. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. No. All right, that's what I got. Take okay, it away, Lady Danger. Okay, I will untap. Draw for turn. I will look at the top card. What is that? Not a spider, huh. but spider adjacent. All right. Mm. Okay, pass turn. Ooh. Oh boy. I am going to pay three, and I'm going to activate the Relic of Sauron on your end step, and I will draw two cards. I will discard this island, and I will untap. And draw for turn. Not helpful. Uh, once again, I will activate this Relic of Sauron. Paying three to draw two cards. I will discard an Exotic Orchard. I'm going to pay three and I'm going to cast Insight. I unfortunately don't have any clever tricks right now, so I will go to combat and I'll once again try to hit you with this lad. After Exalted he is a 12 6. So I've already taken eight. How much? Take 12 more damage. I will block with one of my spiders. Okay, so 10 damage tramples over. I'll go to 11. So you are up to 18 commander damage. <laughs> I will gain 12 once again and go to 113. A regular life total. Uh, okay, I will pass to you, lady. Okay, I will draw my card for turn. I will look at the top card of my library. Spider. Not spider. a spider. Not uh -huh. a spider. Swamp. Not a swamp. Aww. Mm. All right, big moves, money moves. That's what they call me. I'm going to pay one and play Viridian Longbow. Mm. Then I will pay three to equip it onto my spider. Yep, something's getting death touch. And I will pass the turn. Oh. Yes. Uh, I will untap and draw for turn. Okay, well, I will pay three and activate the hat. <laughs> and <laughs> we'll draw two and discard uh, Tressorhorn Sinks. I know it's your house, I'm sorry, buddy. All right, well, let's see what you got for me. I'm going to go with combat. Then I will attack you with Lord of Tressorhorn. In response, I will cast Arachnogenesis. I'm gonna prevent all the damage. I'm gonna create two spiders because of parallel lives. So trigger insight, I will draw a card. Cause that's a green spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you won't die this turn. <laughs> Not this turn. If you must. Okay, so second main, I am going to play a morphic pool as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. I am going to pay a single red and cast a blasphemous act. Holding priority, I am going to add a black and regenerate my Lord of Dresser on. 13 damage? Just to creatures. Oh, just to just creatures. creatures. Just to all your spiders that you love. Okay. Yeah, I guess that happens. Great. I'm gonna ping you for one, Rachel, on the <laughs> way out. That's fair. I will go to 112. <laughs> I mean, 11 2 <laughs> My ornithopter and concierge will die. 
There is nothing I want to exile with my hotel manager, so it will just go to the graveyard. <laughs> and then I am going to pay three mana and cast a Callous Blood Mage. When he enters the battlefield, I am going to lose one life and draw a card. Down to 111. Ooh, 111 Yay, hey. Yeah, 11 And then I'll play a blue and cast Mystic Remora. Okay, that's what I got. Go ahead, lady. I'm on top. I will draw for turn. I do not get to look at the top. I will play a land for turn. Woo! Hey, nice. Got there. There. I guess I'm just gonna play Sheila. She's out. Look at her. And all her eight-legged glory. Behold. But uh, she doesn't have reach, so I'm gonna get stupid. Ah. And I will die. <laughs> <laughs> X-Men <laughs> coming. Good oh, game, right, everybody. Good game, everybody. So spider good. Shake. Yeah, spider, spider shake. shake. Ah. <laughs> and I win. <laughs> All right, well, Ooh. Rachel Weeks is the scariest and spook spookiest uh, player, at least this year. Yeah, I don't know if her commander was necessarily spookiest. The zombie's pretty spooky, but I'm still afraid of she loved the most. So. I always think that Rachel won because her, her commander is the least scary of the three, <laughs> just as far as, you know, magic rules text, not not like yeah. artwork. Yeah, yeah that, that text is <laughs> ridiculous. It's uh, not so much that Lord of Treasurehorn is powerful, it's that Shadow Spear is powerful. Yeah, Shadow Spear is very good, <laughs> and missing land drops for Lady is also very mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, that stuff. Amy and, uh, stealing everything and was off to a roaring start. I thought she was going to just roll, run away with it. Yeah, and Ashlyn faced the same problem of one I remember this happened in another episode. I think the her commander, like the Warhammer ones, just kept getting killed yeah, over and over and over again. On the battlefield. So yeah, feels bad. Really cool game. Really <laughs> fun. Really exciting. Um, if you want to get your hands on any scary or spooky cards, cardkingdom.com slash command is the best place to go to get all your magic product singles, anything at all. You're a magic player. You're going to buy magic cards. You may as well use our affiliate link when you do because you're just supporting our content. You're also using the best magic e-retailer that there is because they have a huge inventory. They've got all the versions of cards that you're looking for. And when you add all those cards to a cart to make your deck, you hit the button and they put it all in one package and it Magical. all comes to your mailbox or your front door or wherever, all in one place. And so you're not waiting for all these little packages to get there. Yeah, I love that. And of course, when you get that package and when you need to sleeve that, not only those cards, but any of your collection or put them in binders, head on over to ultrapro.com slash command and check out their amazing inventory of product there. Hey, maybe it's time for you to get a playmat that intimidates your opponents with how scary it is or one of those ones with like fluffy cats on it because they got those too. <laughs> so whatever your taste, whatever you are feeling, ultrapro.com slash command is gonna have some kind of product that fits your needs. And that's the honestly one of the ba best things we can say about them is they've been around for so long, Josh and I have trusted our own collections of them for, for decades now, that they're gonna have products that fit what you need in your game room. And of course, big shout out to Amy for ha uh, popping onto the show. Yep. If you want to check out any of her links, head on over to the show more and more info box below the episode. Uh, and also, Turn Talk is a great way to get more of our special guests. We had Kenji on recently as well. And if you're like, I love Kenji, I love Amy, I want to see them talk about the game, patreon.com slash command zone at one of the higher tiers. You can get exclusive content like Turn Talk. Yeah, that's a really good tip is anything you're sort of thinking about, like, oh, I want the deck list for this episode. Oh, I yeah. want to learn, learn more about this person. Almost always in the show notes, just uh, expand that box and you'll see a bunch of URLs and links. We try and put all the information down there. Love that. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you for the next spooky episode of whatever comes next. Yeah. Uh, have a safe and fun spooky Halloween season. See you, everyone. <laughs>